Hi everyone, so I'm quickly going to talk to you about why you should growth hack. If you haven't seen the other four parts on what is growth hacking, then you should probably uh, watch it um, because it goes in, into more in-depth detail about what growth hacking is. But today I'm just going to talk quickly about, or well, right now I'm going to talk quickly about what growth hacking, uh, talk to you about why you should growth hack. If you haven't seen the other four parts on what is growth hacking, then you should probably uh, watch it. Um, because it goes in, into more in-depth detail about what growth hacking is. But today I'm just going to talk quickly about, or well, right now I'm going to talk quickly about what growth hacking, uh, uh, where growth hacking the term comes from and why you should growth hack. So growth hacking is a term that was coined by Sean Ellis in 2010. He's the creator of Dropbox, which is a file or document sharing, um, electronic document sharing platform that's become very popular. It's been rumored to be used by very famous presidents. So um, yeah, successful. He knows something about it. He knew how to do it. Uh, but uh, I can tell you there's other examples in the high-end corporate world of growth hacking. Uh, Elon Musk, for instance, if you don't know the creator of um, or the owner of Tesla Motors right now, <clears throat> and SpaceX and a few other things. He, uh, one of the original co-founders of PayPal, um, he claims to have never actually advertised anything and he's done everything through growth hacking, either in the way that he's produced or he's designed his products or uh, using him, his networks or just gaining traction, media traction for um, with an interesting twist on his stories. Um, I could, I, I would like to be able to go into all of Elon Musk's growth hacking and everybody else has done growth hacking. Uh, but I'm just going to go quickly talk about what growth hacking is if you haven't seen it already and why you should growth hack. So it's a general term describing the very early stages of a new startup, although you can use it for anything. Uh, where organic reach usually, um, where you want organic reach usually and you want to discover new markets and engage um, in the digital space to get yourself more clients. Sorry about that. Um, it's a process of reaching out to markets through innovative and less conventional use of digital technology as well as using already established platforms, but they tend to be less growthy and more hacky. Um, it's, and it includes formulating new analysis to determine its effectiveness and maintain existing growth because that's the whole point of the growth. It is not only to find um, new growth markets, it's to maintain them through analysis and optimize them so that they can turn into sales. Okay, so why growth hack? And generally, generally you should growth hack because, uh, or this is in the other parts, so go ahead and watch it. So why growth hack? Well, it's ideal for small marketing and advertising budget, like I've said. It's part of the bootstrapping mentality of startups. It's part of um, the whole uh, aspect of getting your product in front of a client as quickly as possible so that... Um, they can get to know your products, get to know your brand as quickly as possible, um, be convinced of their effectiveness and be uh, constantly informed of your progress in the market space. If you haven't read uh, Winning Credibility, the book, there's, I've got a video on it that should probably help you with the whole um, business aspect that really was written before the growth hacking period and some of the ideals, but those ideals are the ones that, that spurred the uh, methodology of growth hacking. It's here to stay. It might become, it might come under different names at different times, but it's here to stay. So, let's see why growth hack. Well, growth hacking essentially is uh, taking um, what you would consider to be traditional methodology methods uh, and putting it in the digital space. So things like cold calling or postal pamphlets in the physical world would be akin to growth hacking. But growth hacking is done on a much larger scale with much larger numbers in much faster ways uh, using uh, automation. It's really what aids it, the automation aspect and the quick um, response aspect. So why you'd want to do it is because you want access to more clients faster. Fa speed is always a thing with growth hacking. You ex you, you if you didn't really, if it didn't really bother you, the uh, rate at which you uh, uh, retain, uh, acquired or retained clients, then you wouldn't growth hack. You would just allow this organic, natural process of clients, of 
um, that businesses go through the phases of you know acquiring a slow rate of growth. That's been traditionally a business methodology that's been um, <clears throat> used in the past because it's been considered to be one where that provides a much more sustainable business. This uh, the growth hacking tries to make that process a lot faster. It's the easiest way to discover new target markets markets faster than traditional markets, which don't really give you feedback or it's very lagged and delayed. Um, that's one of the things that you want to grow hack for, so you can get feedback on your activities as quickly as possible. Get feedback from your potential new clients in the new target space faster. And with the intention of turning those clients, finding the right clients faster. You also get immediate feedback, like I said, uh, in the communications and when you growth hack, which means that you get to find out really fast what people like, what people don't like, what people respond to, how to tweak, how to change, how to optimize, how to improve, um, whatever it is you're doing, and put it back out again through the process. Through this, recycling process until you come up with something which you know is more effective than the last thing you tried that's essentially part of the growth hacking is to the aspect the feedback aspect is to be used in analyzing uh, optimizing your content um, the other reason you might want to growth hack is to get more engagement via your direct access to potential clients so um, yeah you will find that you will pick up clients when you growth hack that were never in never intended to never realizing required your services or um, needed your platform or whatever it is you're selling until you've engaged with them for quite a while uh, so that you can match and um, they need the timing of the need and that's the other reason you want to growth hack is so you can meet the right clients at the right time and of course you want to be the first one to discover the new platforms I've discussed this before you want to be the first one who tries that functionality and gets it in front of people and you'll know it's popular because pretty soon everybody else will copy it so but you want to be the first one to do that and because you get better match customers I mean apart from when you do paid advertising one of the um, ways that all those platforms match you up is through interest um, because th their whole revenue depends on you selling to the right people. There's no point just blanket advertising to everybody. So they work very hard on getting your content in front of the right people, but they still can't do it as well as you can do it yourself. That's why organic growth is generally considered to have more value than paid growth. Organic growth means that you have bothered to take the time to really analyze the marketplace the potential marketplace before you actually go there so you, chances are that you're going to get more return on it um, that's essentially why you should growth hack I'm sure you probably do all those things already and um, you some of these are just part of natural um, or normal marketing so we should growth hack because it's faster and it's more effective <laughs> end of a story so um, if you haven't seen any of my other videos yet and you want to know what growth hacking is then head off to the four part video tutorial uh, have a look at traditional versus digital marketing have a look at digital uh, versus social media marketing have a look at websites versus facebook facebook pages and whatever else I've, i'm going to put up there so um good luck with your business and Get out there and growth hack. I assure you that you will get results if you do growth hacking, even half correct. Even if you even if you even if you hit the mark by half, you will get there. So, all right. Till next time. Live long and prosper. No, hang on, I can't do it. Live long and prosper.